Dear viewers, welcome back. Today, we are going to discuss about a very basic thing of English grammar that is active and passive voice. Your presence is expected till the end. Here, uh, you can see a sentence. Your presence is expected till the end. At the very beginning, I have a question to you. The question is whether it is active or passive. Okay, please stay with me. And I think after the end of the lesson, you will be able to see whether it is active or passive. You know, uh, there are two types of voices. One is active voice and another is passive voice. Okay, in active voice, the subject performs the action. But in passive voice, the object is given more priority. Okay, now let us make it uh, clear with some examples here. Okay, here we can see he plays football. Okay, here he is the subject, plays the verb, and football is the object. Actually, here uh, uh, the subject performs the action. That means he performs the action and the object, football, receives it. So, uh, it's an example of active voice. Why? Because, you know, in active voice, subject performs the action and the object receives it. Okay, now, uh, let us see another sentence. In the sentence, we can see, uh, football is played by him. Here, you can see that uh, more importance is given on football, on object. Okay. More importance is given on object rather than who performed the action. So, it is passive voice. Okay. So, uh, what is the difference between active and passive voice? In active voice, subject performs the action and object receives it. But in passive voice, more importance is given on object rather than who performed the action. Okay, now let us see the structure of active and passive voice. In active voice, we can see the structure is subject plus verb plus object. But the structure of passive voice uh, is uh, reverse. Here you can see at the very beginning we have object and at last we have subject actually this object the object of the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice then we have to use auxiliary verb then the past participle form of the verb then we have to use by and last of all the subject of the active voice becomes the object of the passive voice Okay, actually, uh, uh, both active and both these two sentences, he plays football and football is played by him, they are identical in meaning. Now, a question may arise in your mind. Why should we use passive voice? Yes, actually, English speakers frequently use them in their everyday life. Passive voices are used in newspaper in scientific report, in legal documents, because uh, information is the main focus there. In some cases, we use passive voices. Now, uh, we will discuss why we use passive voices. Okay, now, here you can see the school was established. Okay, who established this school? It may be that we don't know. So, in that situation, if we don't know who did the action, in that situation, we can use passive voice. Number two, suppose who established the school, you know it, but you don't want to disclose it to everybody. In that situation also, you can use passive voice. Okay, and uh, you see the, another sentence, the route was prepared. Now, a question arises, who repaired the route? Actually, the subject is missing here, okay? Actually, uh, more importance is given on the object, the route. 
so it's passive voice so whenever you want to keep more importance on object rather than the subject then we can use passive voice so uh, we can use passive voice in for three reasons number one if we don't know who did the action number two we know that what we know who did the action but we don't want to disclose it to everybody and last of all if we want to give more importance to the uh, object uh, then we can use passive voice here you can see this road was repaired okay actually the road was repaired it was the important matter who repaired it it was not important so it is passive voice okay, now uh, let us know how to convert active to passive voices okay now here you can see uh, a sentence uh, they are playing football it's an example of active voice okay uh, so what you have to do at first you have to uh, divide um, the sentence into three parts number one subject number two verb and number three football okay you have to divide the sentence into three parts subject verb and object okay now the first uh, thing you have to do is the object of the active voice become the subject of the passive voice next you have to use auxiliary verb according to the tenses then we have to use the past participle form of the verb next you have to use by and last of all the subject of the active voice become the object of the passive voice so uh, if we convert these active voice into passive voice the answer will be football is being played by them okay in our today's lesson uh, actually uh, we have given a, a foundation of active and passive voice why they are used actually we use them frequently but we don't know why we use them so we have given uh, priority on those aspects in our another lesson we'll come back uh, how to convert active to passive and from passive to active till then goodbye have a nice time